Hello my beautiful Aquarians and welcome to your love reading for the first half of October 2022. I hope you're doing well. A couple of cards just fell out and they're telling me that you're feeling a bit disempowered in your love life, okay? The magician in the reverse. So you feel like you don't have what it takes to get you to where you want to be, whether that's in a relationship with someone. You're just feeling maybe, yeah, disempowered and fed up with waiting. Seven of Pentacles. So let's see. Let's see. Clarify the Magician in the Reverse and the Seven of Pentacles, please. What's going on for Aquarius in love? Empress. I I'm getting waiting energy. I'm getting that you've done all that you can do and now it's just a waiting game you know because this guy's plowed the field now he's waiting for the fruits to ripen um, I feel like your blockage is negativity because the magician talks about the law of attraction right and when he's in the upright position he has all of the elements he's got air fire water um, earth He's got the coin, the sword, the cup, and the, um, what's the other thing? Wand. Okay, so when um, he's in the reverse, it's like he's thinking, oh, I just can't, I can't do this. I can't make this work. Nothing's happening. That type of negativity is what is going to um, um, block you. That's your challenge right now. Knight of Pentacles, lots of waiting around, lots of stagnant energy here. So let's have a look and see what the issue is. What, why all this waiting? Angels and Spirit, please show me why is Aquarius waiting, please, in the first half of October 2022. Why is Aquarius waiting? Why is Aquarius waiting? For some of you, your person of interest is at a distance and for others of you, it's like um, emotionally there's no movement, like the other person isn't opening up to you and it's like you can't move out of a certain space. There's that card, cards, same cards are coming out. Seven of Pentacles now, this time in the reverse, the Magician in the reverse again. Definitely feels like travel, distance could be playing a part here in why you're having to wait. Eight of Wands talks about communication, so maybe you're waiting on communication, but you're definitely waiting on forward momentum. The Sun. Um, I just feel like things are just very superficial with you and your person, and you would like things to kind of accelerate is what I'm feeling, okay? More waiting energy. Ten of Swords in the reverse. It's like lack of closure. You can't move on from this. Um, and it's not for lack of trying. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse is telling me there's nothing you can do to fix this situation. Six of Wands in the reverse. I'm getting the distinct feeling that your person just isn't giving you the level of attention that you want, that you deserve, that you need. All right, so let's see what the oracles say. Angels and Spirit, what is the message for Aquarius in love? First half of October 2022. What is the message for Aquarius in love? First half of October 2022, please. Be humble. Okay, so what is humility? It's kind of putting your own needs aside, being a little bit more compassionate, seeing the situation through your person's eyes, that kind of thing, not making any demands, not being a, di a diva in any way. I'm not saying that you are, but that's what being humble is, right? Um, let's see, angels and spirit, what is the message for Aquarius, first half of October 2022? Make time for self-love. Yeah, so really important. Um, date yourself treat yourself if this person's at a distance or for some reason is unavailable isn't giving you much attention you need to really nurture yourself right be proud of yourself you've handled the situation really well um very likely you've accomplished a lot of things um 
in terms of your career uh, lately. There's a lot to be proud of, okay? So uh, make sure you celebrate little wins. Um, that's going to help you, you know, keep your confidence levels high. Uh, let's see. Um, what is going on for Aquarius in love? Grass is greener. I definitely feel like their attention is elsewhere at the moment. Because, like, you know, that the end of that sentence is on the other side. They're on the other side at the moment. And we've got independence here. So, yeah, in the meantime, while you wait for communication or progress with this person, you're meant to learn how to be alone so you can thrive by your own efforts and be your own hero. They're definitely holding back their feelings. There's a lot of uncertainty in this situation. There's a need for forgiveness. Um, and this card is saying that they do want to apologize. They're hoping to start over if you forgive them. Okay, this person was heavily influenced by people around them and you will be hearing like a, like a crumb from them because they're going to be wanting to test the waters and see how you're going to receive them. So they're going to want to know how you're feeling, if you're likely to reject them, that type of thing. That's what I'm getting. So let's see what their next move is going to be. Yeah, so they're thinking about you, but they're not making any moves right now. So what is their next move towards Aquarius, please? What is their next move towards Aquarius? Definitely they're scared of rejection. I just saw the Knight of Pentacles next to the Queen of Swords. You being the Queen of Swords, right? So maybe you're ready to give them a piece of your mind. Maybe you are ready to reject them. Let's see, what is their next move towards Aquarius, please? They're holding back right now. That could also be they're holding on to you. But um, yeah, the Four of Pentacles is definitely, um, they're a bit closed off and not revealing much. What's the next move towards Aquarius, please? I'm getting watchful. They do wanna to come towards you and give you an offer. Knight of Cups. After a period of maybe silence or um, introspection, maybe you're dealing with a Virgo. Show me more about this Nine of Cups, please. They definitely want to, to make some kind of romantic gesture. Maybe ask you out. They wanna make things right with the Justice card, okay? Um, nine of cups in the reverse and the three of swords. This is just, um, I feel like they know they disappointed you. They know they disappointed you and they want to make things right. Okay. With this justice card, maybe they want to tell you the truth. Um, let's have a look at your advice. I'm going to be using a few Oracle decks cause I feel like you need it. Angels and spirits show me. Um, just bear with me. That card fell out, but I'm not feeling it. It will come out if it wants to. What does Aquarius need to know in this love situation? What does Aquarius need to know in this love situation, please? There will be an opportunity to to talk, okay? Because we have to say it and you shouldn't hold back. Um, so have courage to speak your truth. That might encourage them to open up to you a little bit um, because I am seeing closed off. Both of you might be a little bit closed off. 
Um, I feel like you've been waiting around for this person to choose you. You've been waiting around for them to make a decision. And um, I feel like they're feeling the pressure because we have great expectations. You need to stop worrying about what may or may not happen and bring yourself back to the present moment because I feel like you are, with that magician in the reverse, you're disempowering yourself. You're giving all of your power away to the other person and putting the ball in their court and making them the one that needs to choose. But you have a card here saying, no one should have more power over this decision than you. Make a decision and then take personal responsibility. And you've got a card here that says, don't settle. Don't compromise yourself. Know what you want. Believe you deserve it. That's the beginning of commitment. So make a decision and commit to it. Um, I don't really know how to place this other card, so I'm just going to leave it. It may make itself clear. Okay. Um, what are they hoping Aquarius will do? What are they hoping Aquarius will do? First half of October 2022, please. I'm getting weight. They're hoping that you will wait for them. They're hoping that you won't move on to anyone else. Um, they actually, there's a part of them that wants you to chase them. Okay, with the Empress in the reverse, that's um, that's kind of like toxic feminine energy which manifests itself as a woman doing the chasing okay she's not in her feminine receptive state um trusting in her self-worth and, and waiting for things to unfold um not that that's how women should be but they have to be open and not force things that's masculine energy right so i feel like they do want you to to chase after them is what i'm getting with that card they want you to take charge yeah so they want you to be in your masculine um they definitely don't want you to let go of them we've got ten of swords in the reverse they don't want closure here they want you to keep holding on is what i'm clearly getting and they want to be in the position of power not you they don't want you to take your power back and make a decision here is what i'm getting okay so that's what they're hoping let's see what they would say what would they say to aquarius please what would they say to aquarius You may think I'm trying to manipulate you, but I'm not. That's what they would say. They're saying, I feel safer in familiar patterns. If that's come out twice. I think of you often and I can still feel you. they can feel you thinking about them longing for them I wasn't sure how my life would have changed if we continued the connection they're saying I want to return I will very soon okay I want two more please spirit two more Um, we aren't done. We have unfinished business. Um, maybe they act a bit cold and distant sometimes. I feel like it's a defense mechanism. Uh, let's see. I'm going to get a message from the Crystal Spirit deck for you. What is the love message for Aquarius? First half of October 2022. is the love message for Aquarius. Okay, 
so you have Moldavite and Aqua Aura Quartz. Let's see. So Moldavite is talking about as you transition to a new you, you'll become part of a new group of people for you're having new experiences that differ from those that came before. Old friends will be there for you, but new ones will appear drawn to your vibration, which resonates with theirs. Although you're being initiated into a new experience, you will not be alone. So leave your fears at the door. Your community will find you and you will know that you belong as they embrace you as one of their own. You will feel the love as you adjust to your new role, confident in the potential of those you care about coming along with you. Encourage them to believe that they too can let go of the past and transition into something better. And Aqua Aura Quartz is saying, There are 8 billion people on this planet, yet soulmates somehow find each other. Friends and lovers show up in the most unexpected places and love makes itself known just as you're beginning to doubt that, there, that it is out there for you. Aqua Aura's message to you today is to become childlike with wonder. Believe in magic. Believe in the power of love to find its way to you no matter what. No matter how... Um, Dark the hour, for love is everywhere and you have not been forgotten. Open to the love that the universal consciousness wants you to feel in every cell of your body and every particle of your being, for you are the stuff of stars. And you are the star in the tarot Aquarius, so how apt. So you need to connect to your infinite potential. You need um, a renewed sense of purpose. So maybe you need to um, change your focus. Um, and you need more childlike wonder and awe in your life. So look for things that will reinstate that for you. New activities, new hobbies, new experiences. Um, that's what you need, okay? If you're feeling a little bit stuck in a rut or, you know, um, you're suffering from creative block um, and you're just feeling like life is routine and dull at the moment, you need that sense of, childlike wonder and awe back in your life okay now for your um general message for the first half of october what is aquarius's general message for the first half of october please 2022 Okay, you've got releasing fear and practicing gratitude. Also acknowledging your desires. So let's have a look. Let go of the need to be afraid. Welcome peace, trust, acceptance and safety into your life and make a point of listening to your healthy, rational fears as opposed to your irrational fears, your unconscious fears. R relinquish them, okay? Um, like fears of going it alone, fears that nobody wants me. It could be anything, right? Um, and they're so irrational, they're not even funny. Acknowledging your desires. Release the belief that your needs are never met. Acknowledge that your desires, um, sorry, acknowledge your desires and then turn them over to the divine or your higher power. Um, your wants and needs are not an accident and the divine created them when he created you. Practicing gratitude. Um, get into the habit of saying thank you, even for the problems in your life, because these challenges are valuable lessons that you can learn from. Gratitude is the key that turns problems into blessings and the unexpected into gifts. Okay, so I hope that this reading was helpful, Aquarius. Do leave me feedback in the comment section and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.